what is up guys we're over here at an abandoned airbase georgia's airbase and uh we're gonna do a little driving through this we're just gonna kind of explore it kind of see what's around here but if you guys have been up here let me know uh it's pretty uh it's kind of a creepy place and i believe it shut down like maybe in the 80s uh nobody was living here and they just stopped uh people just stopped coming around here but we're gonna check some sites out that are pretty popular um, i've been here one other time and uh just to kind of give this a run through but today we'll, we'll do a little video on this and you guys can just kind of see some of the stuff so we'll go up and down some streets again i don't know the layouts the exact layout so let me know if you've been up here before i think there's some places around here that you can't go down but uh, the last time I was up here, it looked everything pretty much looked open. Hopefully that camera's not jolting around too much, but we'll. Uh, and a lot of these roads are definitely unmaintained and stuff, so nothing really. Uh, you know, unfortunately, nothing I could do about it. I should have put the camera maybe on top, but kind of just wanted to see what you know, get the driving view of this place. But this is pretty crazy, huh? What do you guys think? Oh, I thought I saw someone laying in there. You thought you saw somebody in there? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Should we go back? Yeah, you want to check it out? You want to check it out? All right, let's check it out. All right, so Charlotte says she saw somebody. We're going to we're gonna pull the car around and see if we can see anybody. Hopefully, I don't get any nails in the tires or anything here, but definitely a uh, hills have eyes type environment here. Sure, there's oh, wait there, stop. Seriously? Maybe it was, it's a, a, a log or something. Should I go, should I go look? Is something laying in the backyard. Yeah, I think so too. All right, we'll go into one of these houses here in a little bit, but um, there is a hospital that's supposedly haunted here too. Um, I've heard a lot of uh, stories on this hotel or on this hospital, so I definitely want to check that out. But uh, this would be a great, almost like a good paintball area too. You know, oh yeah, it'd be kind of cool. If they fix this up a little bit probably charge quite a bit of money for it this is actually perfect for paintballing yeah um let's go down this way and then we'll flip around and then we'll go to the uh the hospital which is pretty much right here by the entrance up ahead there this is uh it's gotten pretty industrial over here too they've uh they built some warehouses and actually not too far from here is the airport is an airport uh a, a fully working airport too so um but I'll, I'll let me make a left here and you can see the water towers that are at the prison but like right across the street is is the prison here so And those water towers are in the prison uh, property there, so. Oh, wall's blocked. All right, so we're going to have to make a U-turn here. So no trespassing or loitering, unauthorized vehicles. But again, I don't know how old that sign is, but here's kind of the front entrance. This is probably like the emergency entrance right here. But 
What do you guys think? You think we should go inside? Let me know. Put a comment. Give this video a thumbs up if we should go inside. All right. I'm just going to drive through this. Hopefully they don't mind. Oh. Ooh. I just want to turn the car around just so you guys can see more of the front entrance, but... That's kind of what we're looking at right there. What do you think, guys? You think we should go in? What do you think? We should go in? Sure, let's check it out. You want to check it out? All right, we'll, we'll, we'll just kind of do a quick, in, like, get in there real quick, and then we'll get out. I did bring a flashlight, so. All right, let's turn off the car and see what's up. It's a stairwell. So there's a staircase. Oh, this is kind of cool. All right, we're gonna walk in. Charlotte's going first. I guess the monsters are here. I got my stick. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Let me know if you see any ghosts or anything around here. Um, to be honest, I'm actually kind of scared because I don't know what's around here because I hear a lot of homeless people are around. So um, I am kind of scared. Oh, there it looks like, like a. Hello? Who knows if there's. You know what? And the other thing I thought about is too is who knows if there's a, um, asbestos up in here That's too. That's what I was just thinking. Should we wear our face we should, masks? We should be wearing some sort of masks or something. Now it's dark in here without that flashlight. Oh, you hear that? Yeah. So as you guys can see up there. Right, let's move around. This looks like this was an eyewash station at one time. Let's go down this long hallway. It's probably like patient rooms down here. Yeah. yeah. Open it. A lot of cuss words, guys. I'm not gonna blur it out, but that, that was scary. I don't know what was. Holy smokes! That looks kind of dark. Yeah, Let's go down this way. I heard something. Now it is windy here too, so. Is that blood right there in the corner? What do you guys think? There's paint, maybe spray paint. It's probably more paint. Probably Where'd a you bathroom, go? a washroom, shower. Nice long haul that way. But definitely pretty unsafe. We're gonna maybe like a some sort of yard or something. Any booby traps? So that door open. All right, guys, we're gonna go in this. All 
I don't have any gloves, but I think next time I'm going to come here with some gloves. Whew. What happened? Is this back where we started from? Yeah, we're over here. Checked right there. Lots of glass, broken glass around here, but. There's a toilet. Would you guys sit down on that toilet? Let me know in the comments. Hello? Nope. Then you find moving. Could you imagine coming here at night and hearing just hearing that? You'd be, be spooked out. You'd be like, what is that? Just blinds. Explanation for everything. Just another room. More likely the way out. Beware of what lies ahead. Oh, shoot. Should we beware, guys? Should we go in? What do you guys think? Do we do it? All right, let's go in. This is telling us not to go. Maybe this is, yeah. What do you guys think? The, uh, the, that door shut like that. That's pretty cray cray. I don't want to stay out here too late because I don't want nobody to break it into the car, but... Or back where your car is. There's a truck right there. Should we go downstairs? What do you guys think? Downstairs? Give me a like if we go downstairs. Alright, let's make it happen. Yeah, I've heard if we, uh, if you guys park here overnight or something that... The, uh, the police will come out here and give you a ticket, so. Oh, watch here. I don't know if this is. What happened? Sturdy. Oh, there's a lot of trash down here. Hello? This really looks like a homeless encampment. Hello? Yeah, definitely. I'm not. Uh... What do you guys think? I swear if I step on feces or some sort. Hello? All right. Uh, looks kind of all about the same. It's not like 
It doesn't look like, I don't see tents or anything here, but. It's like colder down here. Yeah, it's like a really cold feeling. There's another staircase. Dang, it's like really cold down here, right here. Hello? It's like that hospital cold, coldness. Which is weird, there's no AC on. All right guys, we're gonna go to the other side here. I see the staircase at the end here. So we're gonna go check that out. And then we'll make our way back to the truck. But this definitely has a creepy vibe for sure. That's where we were at for earlier. A lot of beer. Yeah, flat screen TV. Where? Oh yeah, look, we're going to flat screen. Ooh, look at it down here, it looks. Ooh, what's that over there? What was that underneath there? Nothing. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's make our way back. This way? Oh, there's that stair. Is this the stairs? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we came down that way. Now we're going to walk back up. You hear that wind, huh? Sounds creepy, huh? See what this is over here first. Look, you just went over this wire. You got to be careful. Huh? Yeah, we're gonna have to get you a flashlight. Careful, because there's like pipes sticking out. Yeah, if you guys were running and you tripped, do you imagine falling on that? That'll seriously mess you up. <clears throat> just to get it again, another view. Yeah, that'll mess you up for sure. Oh, look at the elevators. Oh. Elevator shaft. Oh my gosh. Does it work? Can you go down? Up? No. All right, so the, another winger. Whoa. Tripped on some dirt. We should have hit the truck a little bit better. All right, so I'm unsure, but if you guys know if this is the emergency room, um, you know, let me know. For those that live out here, here, I'll get, I'll go out to the front here. So if you guys lived out here or know, know this area, I've been here, you know, if you guys have been to the hospital back in the days, uh, let me know if this was the emergency room. You know, I mean, it looks like it, it looks like they could have dropped. I mean, maybe, I mean, it looks like they could have came in, the ambulance could have came in, dropped, dropped people off and taken off. But I'm thinking maybe the other one was cause kind of had that, that look to it, but. Maybe this is just a different wing of the of the hospital. I think yeah, this is the emergency room, and then they it does checked. say emergency. No, but they probably checked in here. Oh, you think they might have checked in here? This is like the nursing station where they checked Could be, in. Huh? It's probably the waiting room right here. Double doors. Go back into some rooms, probably. Triage area, maybe. Open up one of these doors. Uh, cleaning. Wouldn't it be crazy, though, if I opened one of these doors and there was something behind it? What was that? 
Did you hear something? Could be a can out there. It could be a can. Yeah, you could definitely let your imagination run away with you here. Toilet. Oh, yeah, it's crows. All right. Ready to take off. I've kind of seen enough. Do you guys see a shadow? No? TV mount, maybe? Toilet mount, maybe? Sink? Oh, sink. Definitely a sink. You guys stayed in A1018. Let me know. A1016. Oh, that's oh a, hey, look at this. What happened? I just found a quarter. What? I found a quarter on the floor. Charlotte found a quarter? Hey. All right. 2021. Oh, a oh, look at another one. We found money? We're finding money, guys. We found 50 cents. Shit. Dang. We're getting rich, folks. We're getting rich. Found the treasure. We found treasure, guys. We found treasure. Holy smokes. All right, let's get out of here. Wait, let me search for some more treasure. Charlie's looking for more treasure. I should tell the weeds. Gotta be careful of snakes around here too. All right, should we go behind the hospital, guys? All right, let's go check it out. Let's see what's behind this place. There's more buildings over there. Let's see what there's a sign over there. So there's kind of where we we're at earlier. I don't know if you guys could see that. I hope I hope the cameras I don't have I left my phone at the house, so I don't have uh does it look like it looks like it's pointing down, huh? I think it has a building still in it. All right, guys, let me, let me adjust the camera. Oh, I found a baseball. Oh, yeah, look at that. Check it out, guys. I found a baseball. Woo! We're just finding treasures today. Hold on, let me adjust the camera a little bit. But got a baseball. Let me know if you guys want. I'll tell you what. If I get... If I get a hundred likes on this video, I'll send, I'll ship this baseball out and I'll even sign it, okay? On me, I'll ship it out anywhere in the 48 states, but let me know, okay? Free baseball to anybody who wants it. So see, I don't know if this was the front entrance maybe, or the back entrance. Maybe this was the ER, because the way that it, it yeah, comes Yeah, this in. could be the ER, look. And then there's a sign right there, it says emergency vehicles or something only, but. Where do you see that sign at? Well, I mean, that might be it right there, that silver sign. That would, I could see something like that. But I really want to get on top of that, get some drone shots on top of that building. But, oh well. The movies. Yeah, there is a movie theater right here. I'll stop right here, movie theater. Maybe we should go check that place out, huh? Yeah, looks like it's all blockade. But they put sand and dirt around it. But here's some uh, some apartments, or if you guys know what these were, I'm I'm thinking they were apartments. What do you guys think? You think we should go check this place out? So there's that off to the distance, but we're gonna straight up here 
but as you can see guys there's some apartments and stuff like that all around here that she looks like a ghost who looks like a ghost that sheet over there they may she, look like a ghost oh yeah yeah you guys see any ghosts there's a lot of a lot of sheets that look like ghosts kind of gives you the heebie-jeebies at night i'm sure scare off all the bad juju around all right i'm gonna park the car here we just go inside and check it out so here we are we got some drone footage of this apocalyptic town as you can see time is definitely taking over it looks like these were living quarters of the airmen single family housing type setup apartment style living and, and again time has just really taken over this place And as well, I see this building right here. I'm not too sure exactly what this building is. It may have been a pet clinic of some sort, but uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think this is. All the mattresses. So just be careful of snakes. Oh, I didn't bring my stick. We really should have some bigger boots on here. Be careful the snakes. You guys need firewood, it's a good place to get some firewood, huh? Yeah, this is like barracks. Would this be barrack living, guys? Yeah, that looks barracks. There's another toilet right there. Closet. Mouse drop. There's a lot of mouse droppings. A lot of mouse droppings, guys. There's toilet paper. Look, there's toilet paper. Somebody actually could have used this. Look at that. Found a sticker. High Desert Salutes Georgia's Air Force Base. It's kind of cool. I'm not sure if I really want to go up the stairs, but I just see a lot of breakage and stuff. I don't know. I'm kind of, kind of, let me see. I mean, it is cement. This was probably, I don't know, maybe a, uh, a washroom of some sort. Lots, lots of rat poop. So as you can see, there was the ballpark Ooh, we drove through. Over there. What's that? Someone walking over there. Yeah. So again, a lot of mattresses, broken, just broken stuff. Let's go on the other side. Careful, that's a slip right there. Woo! Hello, chair. You guys want a couch? Anybody want a couch? Dude, how creepy is like something came out like zombies or something. So I don't know if this was intentional if they put these sheets up here or these curtains like this. But uh, you know, if you're, if you're coming here at night, it would be pretty scary to see.
There's probably less rat poop up here, but who knows. This one has the bed frame and everything there. Oh, yeah. What are those numbers? Let's see. By Drexel 1085. So either they were made in 1085 or left here. G contract GSA. Contact. Uh, GSA is, uh, uh, that's a government uh, entity there, GSA. I can't remember what it stands for. Let me know in the comments if you guys remember. I'll remember the acronym when I, when I leave here. Watch. But... Um, that is a, uh, I, I've worked with, uh, in the past, I've worked with those contracts before, and I can't remember of all things. It's been so long ago, but, um, but yeah, There's GSA a is a government contract. Someone left their pants. What happened? Someone left their pants. Someone left their pants? Yeah. Where? Oh, yeah. You think those are authentic Navy pants or Air Force, Air Force pants? Probably not, huh? Uh -huh. I'm not gonna find out. Yeah, by Drexel, 11, this one says 1186. So I wonder if this place was abandoned back in the 80s. Huh. April and Will, Ariel and Will. There you go, your stuff is still here, Ariel and Will. Alrighty guys, well, uh, this is an area that was blocked off. And we just did, a, there was an off road that was through here. So we're gonna, we're going to uh, do a little exploring here with the car, but as you can see, there's you know some broken trees and and uh, stuff that's fallen over the years. I don't know what if they're shooting 22s. It looks it sounds it's like not a like a little sounds like a gun. low caliber. Sounds like BB guns. I don't know about BB. I'm thinking maybe a 22 of some sort. Oh, look at it right there. Oh, it's. Oh, we got somebody doing some airsoft. So we did hear that. Which is kind of cool. For airsoft or a paintball. All right, guys, we're going to drive over here to this complex over here. It looks like it's blocked off over here. Uh, I'm not going to trust it. I'm going to back up here. Hold on, we'll go back around. Let me, it might be kind of hard to see it on the GoPro, but they're right there. If you guys can see in the distance, they're kind of like right there. here doing a little off-roading here guys just so you guys can see the layouts of all this stuff but again love to hear from you guys if you guys lived out here at Georgia's Air Base uh, let me know what it was like let me know you know the history and if I miss some things in the comments because again I, I don't know enough about this we just kind of came here on a whim and I love to hear more of the history on this place please do share I don't know if you guys can see that off to the distance. There's some airplanes. That's a, again, that's a working airport out there. The house burned down. Yeah, it looks like something burned down over here. Oh, barbed wire. Woo! Glad I saw that. That would not have been good. More barbed wire.
bet you this was a really nice town back in the day. I'm sure it was. I mean, I would have loved to come back here in the 80s and just kind of check this place out. So we got some cars parked over here. Probably doing the same thing, either paintballing or... Oh yeah, I hear paintballing going on in the back. Oh yeah, they're shooting across. That's kind of cool. All right, we'll, leave, we'll I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna interrupt the paintball game. But that's pretty cool. That's a creepy little girl. Creepy little girl. <laughs> well, guys, I think that's gonna about wrap it up for us here. Um, I just kind of saw a little bit more what I wanted to see, so that was always good. Let me know what you guys think. Again, if you want us to come back here, we'll come back here, we'll maybe come at night. Again, I keep hearing that that uh, that hospital is haunted, so. Uh, but again, from what we saw, I mean, I don't, I don't believe in ghosts. If you believe in ghosts, let me know. Uh, if you believe in the paranormal, I sort of do. I definitely think there's something in the afterlife, but uh, you know, but again, who knows with the spirits of, you know, if they existed out here or not. So, but definitely pretty cool to check out and I'm glad we got to see some people over here too. There was, you know, people doing paintball and stuff like that. So kind of a cool place let's go check out one of these houses we got some strollers some abandoned cars left behind I have no idea. It looks like some rocks, some material in that bag. But this car looks like it's been sitting here for a while. So it's like again, a duplex. Oh yeah, duplex housing. Yeah. So here we go, guys. We're going to enter this duplex housing right here. And uh, we're going to go check it out. It's a crow. You guys can see the crow. Have your closet? Oh yeah. Charlotte's already beat me inside here. Living room. So not too big of a space. Any rat droppings? Probably a bedroom or no, this is the dining room. Kitchen. You think that was the dining room kitchen? This is the dining room here. This is the kitchen. No, kitchen's over here. Kitchen's right here. No, kitchen. That's another room. That's another, another house. Another house? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I won't this argue. This is their backyard. They had a little patio, brick wall. Looks like the brick walls are destroyed, but... Now, I know in the military, there's certain... If you rank a certain... Uh, level, you know, you have a nicer house, so uh, these were probably, I don't know, maybe lower ranks um, housing. But I'm sure the apartments that we were in earlier was probably for like new cadets and stuff like that. But as you can see, everything's kind of just deteriorating. I think we're gonna die from asbestos. Asbestos, asbestos, asbestos. So it's a two bedroom. It's a two one, bedroom? Two bedroom, one bath. This is the bathroom. They got the tub and the toilet in there. Go sit in it. No, thanks. Go sit on it, come on. Uh, would you Would you guys lay in that bathtub? Let me know in the comments. Bedroom with the closet. This 
It was probably in the master bedroom. That was the other bedroom. This the is the master. Because this one has a bigger closet. Look at that, is that blood? Well, blood usually is brown, but... I don't know, what do you guys think? You think that's blood? It's turning brown, that could be blood. I don't know. But especially right there on the, on the outlet, that looks weird. Let me know if you guys think that's blood. Or paintball. Or paintball. We've seen enough of that around today. Linen closet. Yeah. Oh, a bunch of rat droppings again, so. Animals have definitely been in here. All right, folks, that's going to wrap it up for us. Uh, what would you guys think of this creepy town? You know, is this something you guys want to see more of? Is this something that you guys enjoy? I would love to come back here at night. So if you want me to do a night tour of this place, give me 100 likes and I'll come back here at night, okay? I only want 100 likes. All right, guys, it's pretty easy. Make sure you drop a comment down below. Want to see more if you guys have lived here or know more about this place. Obviously, you're going to know a lot more about it than I did. So drop a comment. Let me know what you guys know. I'd uh, love to hear this, some stories. You know, if there's anything else that I missed that you want me to see, that you want me to check out, I would love to come back here again. But I think we pretty much covered it all. So, but again, creepy town, abandoned. Love this place. It was actually a pretty good exploring trip. And, uh, but I definitely, uh, you know, maybe we come back here at night. So until next time, folks, make sure you guys click like and subscribe to the channel. Always love to have new subscribers. And we'll see you guys on the next video. See ya. Bye.